Hello people, how are you? In this video, we want to look at cyanide poisoning. So cyanide basically, uh, it is uh, acting on your blood, isn't it? So it is going to cause this kind of cyanosis. You can see here, cyanosis uh, will be the sign okay, of uh, cyanide poisoning. And um, this, uh, what is the treatment you should know? Cobalt, cobalt, remember, dicobalt, editate and hydroxycobalt, I mean, chelating agents are the treatment for cyanide poisoning. Okay. So uh, what are the features of cyanide poisoning? These people will have lactic acidosis. They will have acidosis. Please remember, what is the cause of acidosis? High lactate uh, acidosis. Okay, then we told you cyanosis you will be able to see. Then all the standard symptoms of any uh, poisoning, right? Cardiovascular dizziness, shock, respiratory dyspnea, he's having difficulty to breathe, anxiety, headache, delirium, convulsions, coma, fixed dilated pupils, vomiting. These are all very, very standard about any poison, isn't it? So what is the treatment? Dicobalt editate hydroxycobalamine. Say these two words dicobalt editate hydroxycobalamine. Cobalt, cobalt. Where do you use cobalt, cobalt? Uh, cyanide poisoning. Okay. In cyanide poisoning, you can see that there is anion gap. Okay. So, common toxic causes of elevation of this uh, gap is cyanide poisoning. As such, in forensic, we have already covered cyanide poisoning, guys. So basically, it is um, available in gas form, liquid form, solid form, right? Uh, this is the formula. If you write this, you will get some marks in the exam. Just uh, see, HCN, CN cyanide, you know, right? HCN, C and N have triple bond, okay? And nitrogen is having extra electrons, looks like, okay? Because it, it needs only double bond, right? Okay, so um, uh, you can get this from bitter almond. Bitter almond, uh, you can get uh, cyanide uh, and apple seeds also, cherry also. And what does it uh, do? It is going to inhibit cytochrome oxidase. Okay. So there is no ATP, there is no oxidative phosphorylation. So this person will have histoxic anoxia. So basically what kind of uh, uh, hypoxia is there here? Basically these people have hypoxia. Histotoxic hypoxia and uh, there will be brick red discoloration of skin and mucosa and uh, these people can, uh, you can have a bitter almond odor from these people. Okay, I am thinking this is cyanosis but they are saying it is brick red color. Okay, uh, there are some tests to check cyanide poisoning like Lee Jones test and you can check the serum cyanide level. So easy, right? This is what we will write in the exam. Serum cyanide uh, level you can check. Okay, then. How do you treat? We told you that you have to give cobalt, cobalt, right? You can also give nitrates, it says here. Then, here they have written cyan cobalt, I mean hydroxy cobalt, I mean all that cobalt, cobalt they have written here, okay? Nitrates they are talking about, guys. Nitrates also you can give. For that acidosis, they are giving sodium bicarbonate, right? Because that guy is in acidosis, so they, so they are giving uh, bicarbonate. So guys, we actually wanted to look at it only from medicine uh, perspective. We have covered already this in forensic. Hope you learned that the treatment is, what is the treatment? Dicobol editate, hydroxycobalamine, dicobol editate, hydroxycobalamine, okay? It's used for chemical warfare also, remember that point if you want.